Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to make a quick video today showing you how to adjust your throttle position sensor in your S13 SR20 red top. It should work for locked off exactly the same. Uh, only tools you're going to need, very basic. You need a 7mm socket, doesn't matter what size uh, ratchet you use, a paper clip, and a voltmeter. What you want to do is bend this paper clip out. One second. Okay, we'll bend it out straight and then loop this other side kind of like this. Actually, hold on, I'll, I'll just show you in a second. Okay, so here it is. Bend one end out straight, put a little loop in. That's so you can uh, get it attached to your lead there. What you want to do, put the car off, just take your throttle position sensor off. Just push in on the clip and it should pop right off. You want to insert this paper clip into the middle wire there. So I'm just gonna push it right down in there. Might be a little hard to get it in but push it in and then it won't go in anymore and then connect it back together. Okay, and take your voltmeter, put it onto the appropriate setting. We're reading in uh, two decimal places here. Uh, take your ground, hook it up to your battery. Take the other lead and put it in that loop that you created in the paper clip. Okay, sorry for the terrible uh, camera skills here. I'll, I'm just going to put this in and I'll be right back one second. Okay, so I got it connected as you can see. Then you just want to turn your ignition on. Don't start the car. Key in ignition. Just don't start it. You'll have a voltage reading on here. Mine's pretty close to what it should be. I'm going to adjust it to 0 0.48, uh, sorry, 0.45, sorry. So when you have your reading, what you'll do is you'll take your ratchet, and those two bolts holding this sensor on. Sorry, I have my fan in the way. I can't get in there that well. There's that one there, which is seven mil. And that one up there, it's also seven mil. You can get in there pretty easily with uh, whatever ratchet, just make sure it's not a long socket. And um, you don't want to loosen it too much. You want to loosen it just enough so you can turn it, but you still want to have it contacting the throttle body uh, well enough, because that is going to be sending the signal through. So I might not have mine loose enough. So I'm going to loosen mine just a little tiny bit more. And then essentially you just want to adjust, you want to twist that to get this where you want it. And I want mine at 0.45. I believe uh, it has to be between 0.4 and 0.5. So I'm going to put it right in the middle. And I'll be right back once I have this loosened off. Okay, so I have it loosened off, 0.48. I was just messing around with it, and uh, it seems that if you pull this towards you, it will raise the voltage and if you push it away then it will lower the voltage. I'm just going to go very extreme here to show you that that drops the voltage. I'm going to bring it back towards us here. And there's our voltage. And that's just very slightly moving it here. Like barely at all. I'm going to get it right on the mark, right on the money. It's pretty close. There we go. Now you got to be careful not to uh, spin it while you're tightening down the bolts. And they also don't need to be cranked down super tight because you can snap those. 
so just be careful when you're tightening it. And um, yeah, so I'm going to tighten it down, make sure that it stays at 0.45, and then we'll do our wide open throttle test. One second. Okay, well, I couldn't find any numbers online uh, what your wide open throttle voltage should be. Some people are saying 3.6, some people are saying 5 volts. So I don't have it on camera, but my car was reading 4.6 volts wide open throttle. That's with the engine off. But after doing that, it does idle considerably better. It was idling around 1300 um, warm, and now it should be down idling around 800. It was in my previous tests, so it did fix my idle problem. Um, I still got a few more issues to work out, and as I work those out, I will keep you guys updated. And if you have the same problems, then you can just resort to my videos and Hopefully you can fix the problem. So thanks for watching. Subscribe again. If you're not subscribed, uh, leave me a thumbs up. I like to see that. It makes me want to put out some of this good content for you guys. So thanks a lot for watching. Have a good one.